to order. Sister Catherine. God our Father, as we gather tonight, we come expressing prayers of praise and thanksgiving. How often we come with our list of wants and needs, and we come with those tonight. But we also remember the goodness that you have placed within us and around us thanking you for all that goodness and all the love that you bestow upon us. And tonight, too, we ask that you be present as we continue to deliberate. Bless the people that we serve. Bless us as we serve them. And continue to walk with us on this journey of life. To this prayer and to all prayers, we say, Amen. Um, additions to the agenda. Purchase over $500 from the police department and Bob Stargates from the police department. Um, I'd also like to add the fireworks schedule. Are there any other additions to the agenda? Uh, executive session.
playground equipment installed, but he did throw in that they could come sooner. He just he wanted to give us a guarantee late date, but he said I could call you next week and say we're rained out and we will be here you know, within a few days or whatever. So what he's willing to guarantee is uh, we'll have the play structure installed by August 15, 2015. He mentioned July earlier, but when he came down to put in writing, that's what he investigated. Uh, Kevin Davis did uh, get with the mayor and provide some information. Uh, the guy from Stafford that uh, Kevin knows real well, and uh, he's doing some installations of playground equipment over Stafford. And I talked to him, and he said he would let me know. He would be probably by this Friday whether he'd be interested in putting that. Uh, that would be the, the sooner the better type situation. So, I guess to expedite this, I mean, we can wait till the next meeting if he tells me what he wants for it, or if you guys have another way you want to do it, as far as if it's open Friday and says, yeah, I can start next week or whatever. I don't know. Or we can just say, okay, and I'll bring it to the council and we'll work on the price. He's not even sure what we have. We I think we'll see a price before we agree. So well, like certainly wouldn't have seen the, yeah. the other one, but I'm right. just saying that's my understanding. So what was the price on the other one? And he sent me a, 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 a quote, and if we want him to do it and get on this list, we have to sign and get it in other than that, and people will you know, keep getting ahead of us. The final quote uh, is uh, $7,870. It's $5,000. I guess if, if the city wants to take, or the council wants to take a position that you don't want me to operate a diversion program, uh, a diversion program is kind of like a, I just say, it's like a, I'm sorry, please give me another chance. Okay, it's, a, it's an agreement between me and the defendant, and they agree to follow certain rules. Um, sometimes if it's a minor, I make them do community service. Um, they agree to, to abide by all rules, federal, state, and local, for a period of 12 months, and I just dismiss the case against them. Doesn't go on their record, doesn't affect uh, their driving record, it's not a conviction. Um, so it's for those who have not messed up anywhere else and just want an opportunity to keep things going. Does council feel like they want to take action to uh, not allow this program? No, I'm okay with that. I, I don't remember why I had executive session. Well, then we won't do an executive session. Okay. Well, I'm not sure why we're doing it. Okay. 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 Okay.
Right. I do have a copy. The last time we were here, I, I uh, council directed me to make a uh, provided notice to the county attorney about some prior open meeting violations that occurred in 2010, 2011. I did my best piecing together what maybe I thought happened uh, based on minutes. And that just is my letter to the county attorney, just so you guys have a copy. And I apologize that went out today, so I'm going to have to get into your packet for a day. Basically, that the violation is there was an attorney client exceptions to the open meetings uh, act that was used to justify an executive session, but was uh, uh, the individual, as Mr. Clausen was here, you will remember that Mr. Clausen was present, that violated that exception to the open meetings act, so the motion not be considered proper. I guess I'm a little unclear as to what may have happened during that executive session. Uh, it didn't involve most of the council here. Uh, it didn't involve myself. And so while it may have been a violation of the Open Meetings Act, I do not believe it was an intentional violation of the Open Meetings Act. Certainly the council at that time was following the lead of the county or the city attorney at that time. Me, it was done to protect somebody's privacy, uh, that being uh, the individual referred to in the minutes. I don't know the county attorney, I'll just have to make a decision. One of the things that could potentially be a result is the undoing of any kind of binding action. But as my letter references, I, I don't know, and I don't know if we can go back in time to try to figure out whether there was a binding action. The letters from Mr. Nappenberger to Mr. Clausen refers to the decision not to take any action. Well, not to take action does not take a vote of members, it just thinks you've got to be quiet. Um, it does talk about a prior uh, sewage bill uh, change, but I don't know whether that sewage bill change would have resulted from action by the council or would have resulted as a decision based on staff. It's been asked to me if somebody comes to you and says, I want changes to my water bill, how they appeal or go through that process. And there's nothing in the ordinance, there's nothing in the state law. I mean, there's just no way other than there's a provision that says that the city can, at the uh, landowner expense, test a water meter. And if they find that the water meter was okay, they charge that landowner $10. Um, 
that's the, that's the only thing in the city ordinance. And I'm not saying that the city needs to change that, because I think what, what needs to happen is that somebody needs to come to the city council in a rather quick manner if they find that there's a problem with the water bill, and that would allow the city to go and read that water meter or that electric meter or whatever rather quickly. But I don't think it's something that necessarily needs to come from the council. Any other questions? It's not zoning, it's not, um, it's the Liquor Control Act that controls that. The Liquor Control Act says you can't get a temporary permit if you intend to sell liquor within 200 feet of a church or school. So you only two exceptions. So it's the Liquor Control Act that, that controls that. And I, and I don't never apply for a temporary permit to sell alcohol, so I don't know if your location needs to be described on the temporary permit genre. Usually on, on the, any license, whether it's temporary or not, we do put the location on it. Okay. I don't know if that means you can just apply differently next time and they, they can come out and look it over and grant the permit. I, I don't know, but uh, that's what the Liquor Control Act has right now. There's nothing to say. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other 
Rangers games if you know of them. I don't know what you brought him a ticket for. I mean, certainly a handhold by the police knock on the parents' door may, may be enough. I don't know what you what you charge them for. I guess if they're violating the, the rules as far as usage of a bike on the roadway, I, I guess you can <laughs> charge, charge them for that. It is input. It is input, and, and tell him the. I'm seeing it. I know he's seeing it. Yeah. That is his eyes closed. Right? Right there. If there is a prohibition from using motorized scooters and stuff on city streets, and when he sees kids with little motorized bicycles or whatever, you can't do that. Um, that's that's a traffic law. That's another issue. But then you've got to be on the correct side of the road. But. Maybe Adam can put some things on his Facebook to raise some awareness that way too. I'll get with him and um, have him have something prepared for the next council meeting as far as potential options and what he thinks might work.
screen protectors and then a case for it with the keyboard. Will it be able to interface with the computers? Your programs? Um, like not with our Windows. programs. If you have, uh, if this, if you have internet capabilities on this, you should be able to get some type of generic account like log me in and you'd be able to slave into any computer in this office. Or if you do Dropbox, yeah. put it in Dropbox, yeah, can you go ahead and open it? And if it's an Excel spreadsheet in the so. iPad? I think so. I didn't know how I don't to know. I'd have, have to double check that. that. But yeah, that, that's my thought process because I want to get to a point to where everything that we have, like equipment lists and just anything, will be on this unit so that it's there you know, if somebody's got a question and wants to research something real quick, you can be dropped off with them kind of thing as far as counsel goes. So, anyway, that was my thought process. So moved. Second. Do we have a number that you want to put in here? Not to exceed 500. That's one. Sure. Second, is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion, motion carries by vote. Thank you. Um, okay. Oh, I must have talked about the planning session. Sorry. Okay. As an end result of the planning session that we're going to be doing on the 13th, I would then like to have the town hall meeting on the 23rd of the annex to discuss the things that we have deemed as relevant and what needs to be done in the near future to get community input um, to try and see if we can get the community to tell us what they see as being important um, maybe talk a little bit more about the CDBG grant program that we or grant that we've applied for so that people can have a better understanding of what's going on there um, with your approval, um, I plan on working with the newspaper to get an article in the paper to bring awareness for the town hall meeting. Um, and hopefully try and get word of mouth out so that people are aware that we're doing this. I mean, I'd like to see as many of the community, as big broad section of people as we can get. So I am, I guess, looking for permission from council to go ahead and schedule that. I think it's a good idea. Okay. Um, executive session of attorney client privilege. How long? Fifteen. Okay.
council mayor, city superintendent, and attorney. Second. Until for 15 minutes. So, so, so 20 hours. It's like going to a Catholic church, man. Sit down, stand up, kneel. Sit down, stand up, kneel. Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Order. Um, last thing under new business is the fireworks schedule. Um, my suggestion is Friday, July 3rd from 7 to midnight, and Saturday, July 4th from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Friday, please. Friday from 7 p.m. to 12 p.m. And Saturday from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, yeah. I don't either. I mean, the kids are still popping. So, I mean, why not? Why not open that Friday up? Uh, I mean, people are still popping. I was going to say, you're it up Friday or open it started at noon. That's just, just a suggestion. Why do we, we go from noon? Yeah. Yeah. On Friday from noon to 12? Because I'm going to the kids. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, from 12 to 12, why don't we just do that? Yep, fine. that's fine. Okay, so the schedule will be 12 noon on Friday until 12 p.m., and then Saturday from 7 a.m. to 12 midnight, 12 p.m. Saturday. Saturday from 7 a.m. Okay. And the reason I wanted to do it this evening was so that the people who have to make arrangements for pets or whatever have plenty of notice so that they can do that. So we need to make a motion. <coughs> because this, our, our code says different. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Make a motion to approve the uh, 4th of July schedule. Do you need the details? I've got it. Okay. Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Okay, old business. Skating rink floor update. Okay. So you can, I think, can we take that off now? You take that off now. Um, the on call policy, obviously, they haven't had time to work on that. Um, as a matter of fact, let's remove it from old business and at such time as they're ready to bring it back, we will. Do we need to make a motion to remove it? No. Okay. All right, the next item is Mr. Clausen and the past water bill. Um,
the audience here with Andrea Rick. It was like three hundred and ninety two dollars or three hundred and ninety four, whichever way you looked at it. It was figured two different ways. It was figured off the, the minimum. This is what it I think you had said it was three ninety two and then you had said back when we asked you at like three eighty four eighty. Right. It was minus the seven seventy so she said was yeah. this one. I guess I'm not concerned about whether it was a meter or a valve that was replaced in there. Whatever was done then, fix the problem. That was my concern. up some additional information from John today that you guys asked for last time. It looked like this had been going on even back in 07, just not as severe as it had been in 2010. My argument, I guess, with it being a leak is I don't think a leak's going to get better after it gets worse. And you can see numbers in here where it goes from high numbers back to low, and then to high again, then back to low. Now, a leak's a leak. I don't think it's going to get any better, which is why I still think it was something to do with the meter or the valve, whatever was done in the can that day. Nothing I did at my house seemed to fix anything. I did numerous things trying to find the problem.
course, and be done with it on that principle only, and go on. Mm, that's my thinking. So that's I make a motion. I'm happy first. with that. I'll second that motion. Is there any further discussion? Yeah, if you got a copy of the letter that you sent me, get the copy by calling them. It was attached to my letter, counsel, that yeah, I provided. Sure. That's my thinking. The city said that you know we're going to pay him back because it all went down the sewer. No, the reason we paid it back, we redid that, is because the sewer charge was higher than it had been because of the extra water usage. So that's why they recalculated that sewer charge. But we've seen a problem still. So that problem I got with this is the council supposedly way back before our time already took care of this. We're dealing with it four years later. And I want to be done with it, not deal with it another day. Absolutely. And I think if they are sitting there saying, well, yeah, because we base it off of your water usage, there was a fault there somewhere, I think we just reimburse it, 380, 480, and be done with it. And we start over fresh, clean slate. Okay, just for clarification purposes, are we doing a credit on this utility bill or are we cutting him a check? Why don't we ask Mr. Foster? How would you like that, sir? I paid you guys when you needed the money. I suppose I want the money now, but so you prefer a check? I prefer a check. check. Yeah. Out of a check. That's the motion I make. We cut in the check for three eighty four eighty. Okay, so I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries three two.
the buyers are not of legal age, so they can't contract. You can allow the mother to contract sign a uh, sales contract that says that it's going to exchange hands on this date, and for that date, the city is going to attempt to get a new roof on it. If the city isn't able to get a new roof on it, they will pay you the proceeds for what it costs to put a new roof on it, but you have to put a new roof on it. That's my suggestion. Chosen them, they have to give it up, and I haven't gotten the sense of it. That so, the, the, the problem was because they were minor, and minors can sign a contract. Emerson Shields and I had worked out where mom was going to sign it, transfer on death deed, and we were going to need it to mom, and then once the kids reached legal age or she passed, then they could go to. Um, so your, your suggestion is just tell them we're going to transfer it on this date. If we can get a riff on it by then, we'll fine. If not, we're going to give you the money. And I don't, you guys have market. I've seen all kinds of signs for these in town. Does it need a new riff on it? Do they just put one on it? Is it that bad? Girl's got a bit already. Which is what? 4183. I mean, the insurance adjuster didn't look at it. Cheaper than what? Who would you say we would give it to you? However, you guys want to give it for the contract. Well, I'm saying, I mean, I don't know how the insurance, if that insurance would cut them a check for that amount minus the deductible or what they do. They'd probably cut you guys the check. Okay. It really and then can we just roll that to them? I will do it however you guys want to do it. But I mean, with, is that the legal way of doing it to where we can just roll it? Yeah, here's our check. If they're comfortable with, with signing a real estate contract that, to that effect, my concern with doing that process before knowing what the damage amount was, was that the damage would be $12,000, and also the purchaser of the land bank house paid $10,000, but then got $12,000 in insurance proceeds because we gave them proceeds to these insurance. But that was just my concern of having to win the adjustment. I just didn't know how to advise right. the land bank. send a contract to them that basically says that they're taking this again was the communication as we want it as is, but they were taking it as it is and that was rejected. <laughs> so they wanted something done. None of that else. Is there a way to for us to fix the roof and still allow them to go ahead and start working on it and stuff? Is that maybe the problem with them wanting to I, I don't have with that. That's what I was wondering. If we could go ahead and transfer ownership and then we go ahead and okay, I mean, we're going to get the roof replaced. You did two closings. You do an initial closing where you give them the key. Our trust account would hold the $10,000 and uh, might hold the deed and then we'll do a final closing when uh, everything was said and done. And at that point, my trust account would pay the city $10,000 and then uh, we'll file the deed. We just act as gifts for it. Motion, we do it that way. Second. I make a move for second the motion to do an initial closing with the ten thousand dollars being escrowed to the attorney's office. And the city taking for the land, they take responsibility for making sure the repairs are done. Make a motion to then do the roof thing. Yeah, you guys are comfortable with that. That'd be it. Okay, let's Can I see that now? Can we finish what we're doing here first? With the $10,000 going to escrow. Yeah. In the attorney's office. Final closing.
schedule. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries by 